being authentic, again, what's authentic? And what does that really mean? What is such a big word? What authentic really means is speaking your truth from your heart. And people can pick it up a mile away. You know when someone is not sincere. They may say all the right words to you, but you know when someone's not sincere. And I want to go back to the district manager I talked to. She was very sincere. She was very kind. And then it, then it dropped. Then it dropped. It dropped back to the manager. I don't think I'll hear from the district manager again. What she did do was she saved me from leaving the bank immediately. She did do that. Did she save me from leaving the bank completely? No. So I think being authentic is important. Networking events, while well, this speaks for itself. Effective sound bites. What that means, and you do this all the time in SBR, what that means is how can you say what you need to say in 30 seconds to one minute and let people know what you're going to do for them with it not being all about you, but letting them know what you do and why they need you. That's an effective soundbite. Follow up, and that sometimes I don't follow up as soon as I should, but when you meet someone within a day or so, sometimes I wait two or three days, but really effective follow up is I would say within a day or so. And again, I think media is important, whatever media outlet you use, whether it's print media, whether it's the kind of media that I'm in, which is radio, which is really helping you get your message across, think, or whether it's social media, you need to get that word out. Now the second part of this is retaining your clients. And this is the part that, that I really work with with my clients, and that is understanding what they need. When they come to you and they say something, or they come up with something that's telling you they have a need. You know, or you get a little email, um, did you check on this, or do you... I look beyond that. What is it they really want? What is it they really want to do? And I try to have conference calls with them or talk to them regularly. I think this next one is key. Under-promise and over-deliver. Do not give a date to anybody unless you know you can deliver on that date. Really, don't do that because it just, it sets the bar, it sets the expectations. Say, you know, I can, I think I can do it by this date. I'm not going to promise, but I'm going to try. And then do it or do it a day early. People love you for that. Be a friend in the true sense of the word. You know, I, I remember, I remember my father who passed last year. I remember when he would go to doctors. He was died when he was 95. And he was kind of very brilliant guy, not an easy guy. And he'd go to the doctor and he'd say to the doctor, I, I remember this, he'd say, all right, he'd say, I want you to know, I want you to tell me what you'd say to your son about this. How would you advise it if this were your son or your daughter in this situation, what would you say? He used to say that all the time. And, you know, and actually it was a very good question because what he's saying is, how would you handle a loved one? You know, you're advising me, would you give this advice to your loved one? Thank you, Dad. And then uh, generating referrals. Again, this is something I think that SBR does so well, and I think you do it well, too, is that's what this is all about, thinking about other people. And I think, you know, week after week, when you see people over and over, they become embedded in your brain. So, for example, I know what Jenny and Chuck do in terms of A Airline Express, and they're always there. So the first time anybody says anything to me about transportation, that's the name that's going to pop out of my mouth.